The energy consumption of this five hour run was 25 kilowatt hours. We got 12 pounds of coal, or actually 12.12 .12 pounds. Now one pound of coal is equal to 0.90 kilowatt hours on the low side. So we take that 0.90 kilowatt hours and we multiply it by 12.12 .12 pounds. That's how much we got. And we end up getting 10.908 kilowatt hours of coal. All right, that's a pretty decent amount. But let's not forget, we also got an oil, 550 mil of gasoline. Now, we don't know exactly what this oil composition is, but we're assuming gasoline because gasoline has the lowest energy content between diesel and kerosene, so that gives us some buffer zone if some calculations are wrong. So, one liter of gasoline is equal to 8.9 kilowatt hours. 1,000 mil are in one liter, so, we divide that 8.9 kilowatt hours per liter by a thousand milliliters, which gives us 0 0.0089 kilowatt hours per milliliter. So now we take that and we multiply that by 550 milliliters. And that gives us 4.895 kilowatt hours of gasoline. So we add the coal and the gasoline together ends up being 4.895 kilowatt hours plus 10.908 kilowatt hours, which gives us 15.803 kilowatt hours. So far, that's not bad. That's not a bad energy rate. But we also got these balls that we store the gas in. Let's not forget those. Now, last episode, we assumed or we found that one full ball is worth a pound. And we assumed that one pound of gas in the ball was methane, but that's not really realistic because methane is not exactly the same as this pyrolysis gas. This pyrolysis gas is a composition of gases like natural gas. So let's assume this is instead one pound of natural gas. So one gram of natural gas is equal to 54 kilojoules of energy. There are 453.592 grams per pound. So we multiply that 453 0.59 times 54 kilojoules per gram, which gives us 24,493.86 kilojoules. So we take that 24,493.86 kilojoules and we divide it by 3,600 because that's the formula to convert kilojoules to kilowatt hours and we get 6.80385 kilowatt hours. So that's about 6.8 kilowatt hours per yoga ball. Now, we got five of these balls this run, five of them, a lot. So 6.8 times five equals 34 kilowatt hours from the yoga balls alone. Now, we add the coal product plus the oil product plus the gas product, and that ends up coming out to be 4.895 plus 10.908 plus 34. And all of that together equals 49.803 kilowatt hours. Now, let me mind you again, the energy consumption of this run was 25 kilowatt hours. 49.803 kilowatt hours minus 25 kilowatt hours gives us 24.803 kilowatt hours. So that lets us know that we gained 24.803 kilowatt hours. That's almost double the energy input. So, that is a great efficiency. 199% efficiency, actually. And I actually put that in the calculator. As you see, literally, we're at 199% efficiency with a huge buffer zone because I did a lot of the things lower than they actually may be. So, to anybody who ever doubted me or this project, Assuming that it would never work because it's not efficient enough. I have two balls here and I want you to lick them both with modesty, earnesty, and proper etiquette. Because I believe that is what I and all of the OGs who knew where this project was going and believed in it the whole time. That's what we deserve. We deserve you to lick both of our balls uh, with, with honor and humility. So with that being said, thank you all. We won. We will continue to win.
Peace out. We'll be right back.